Today I'm going to be installing the Pico Boot mod in this GameCube that I had for a while. This console is actually perfect for this mod because the lens doesn't work. And unless I want to spend I don't know how much on a new lens, I can just install this mod in one of the games from an SD card. So what you're going to need is a Raspberry Pi Pico, an SD to SP2 adapter, and a micro SD card. I'm going to be using this on 32 gigabyte one, but any good quality brand should work. And maybe even some thermal pads. If you're lucky enough to pull out the heatsink without ruining the thermal pads that are already installed, then you don't need to worry about this, but mine did get damaged, so I did have to replace them. First, I'm going to install the Pico Boot firmware on the GitHub page. Right under releases, there'll be this link. Once you're in there, you scroll down until you see picoboot underscore full dot uf2 and download this file. Now to connect your Pico board to your PC you're going to press the boot SEL button while plugging it in and then it'll show up on your PC. Now just drag and drop the Pico boot file and the Pico board should automatically be ejected and there should be a green LED lighting up on the board. I won't bother showing me opening it up because there's several tutorials out there that you can follow. Here I'm just opening part of the shielding so I can let the wires through. And I added some solder to make the edge less sharp and prevent it from cutting into the wires.
Most people here use double-sided tape, but I don't have any of that, so I'll just use E6000 glue. Also, the Pico board is usually placed on the right side, but my wires weren't long enough for that, so I had to put it on the left side, and then just tuck the wires under the metal shield. Now to install the Swiss software into your SD card, you're going to go into under releases, Swiss, latest version is 1788, scroll down and download the the one that the second one, that one that ends in 7z, and you're either going to need WinRAR or 7zip to extract it. Once you've downloaded it, you're going to extract it, go into the Swiss folder and there should be another one. And inside this folder, there should be all your files. So go back and grab the, the Swiss folder with everything in it. And drag and drop it into your SD card. Now go into your SD card and click go in this folder. Go in the DOL folder and there should be this file that ends in DOL. Click on it and then Control X on that. Go back to the root and Control V to paste it. Now you're going to rename this file to IPL in uppercase, press enter, and it should be ready. Now you can just make a folder in here and call it games and put your ISOs in here. And these are my own games that I have ripped with a modded Wii. So now you're going to take your SD card and SP2 adapter and put it in like there. And then it says this side face inside, you're just going to put it in facing inside, right there in the GameCube. All right, so I have the console set up now, and you can see the TV right there, CSS AV. I'm gonna turn on the console now, and then this is what you're gonna see. Oh, there you go. On your first boot, uh, you will get these settings, and you can just mess around with these if you want. I'm not gonna get into that. I'm just gonna leave, leave them at default. And I know my, my screen isn't like, calibrated correctly, it's kind of outside the actual viewable area, but that, that's fine for now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna save and exit, and is, you're not gonna see that every time you turn it on, you're only gonna see it on the first boot. So now you can just run any GameCube or any GameCube homebrew that you want. So I put my games in the games folder, press A on that, and then there are the games that I ripped. Let's go in Mario Party 6. And it's gonna take a few seconds to load. And there you go, you're in the game now. And there you go, it works. But that's basically it for this video, so thank you for watching.